Hey guys, can you believe it? We have been delivering you guys the anime news now for a year. That's crazy. We have 52 episodes out. And we still haven't run out of anime news because we still have more anime news for you guys today. So let's dive in. Disco Tech Media announced during its mega Disco Tech Day livestream on Monday that it has licensed nine new anime titles and one animated work for a home video release in 2022. The company has also revealed the release windows for two previously announced titles. The following titles are new releases that will be getting a home video release in 2022. Astro Boy, the 1980s edition, Symphro Gear GX, Fuse Memoirs of the Hunter Girl, Lupin the Third, Prison of the Past, Case Closed Fist of Blue Sapphire, Galactic Whirlwind, Sasurger, Powered Armor Dovac, Homes of Kyoto, Digimon Adventure, Moncoli Knights, and Sergeant Frog Season 2. Again, sorry on the pronunciation, so I'm having a bit of trouble reading. Discotech Media has also announced during its Mega Discotech Day livestream on Monday that it will release new restorations of the following titles on home video. Cyber City, Ditto 808, Violence Jack, Project A, Co2, Pilot of the Daikokuji Financial Group, Dark Stalkers, Kankankishi, Devilman, and Uzumaki live action film. Again, sorry on pronunciations, but if you guys want to know more about those titles, check in the link down below. Adult Swim announced on Thursday that it has ordered two new seasons of the FLCL anime titled FLCL Grun Grungeon? Grunge? My bad. And FLC. Shogays, as well as the new anime series Housing Complex C in honor of the 20th anniversary of the Toonami programming block. Adult Swim streamed the first look for FLCL Grunge, which features the original anime's ending theme song, Ride on Shooting Star by The Pillows. Maybe it's time for the last time that you guys will hear about Funimation Corner. Like I said, it will be rebranding to Crunchyroll Corner soon. Anyway, starting us off, Crunchyroll has confirmed on Tuesday that the home video releases for Back Arrow, Bem Become Human, Hentelia World Stars, Life Lessons with Oramachi Onisan, and One Piece Anime will be under its label. Funimation held the licenses for these series and also handled previous One Piece home video releases. Fun Funimation's Twitter account made the announcement on its Twitter account as well. This is in part with their new rebranding and consolidation of the two brands. Crunchyroll has also announced on Tuesday that it will debut the English dub for Cloverworks' new original TV anime series, Tokyo 24th Ward, on Wednesday with the first two episodes. The anime premiered with a one hour special on January 5th. Crunchyroll is streaming the anime as it airs in Japan. So not only are we celebrating our one year anniversary for our channel here, there is another channel that's also celebrating this week, which is our parent channel actually, Anika Anime Studios. They are celebrating their second year anniversary alongside us. They have been making videos on anime reviews, theories, and asides. So if you guys haven't checked them out already, please do so. But on to the Slash Draws. Toy hobby company Bandai Spirits began streaming a video previewing the first 11 minutes of the second part of the Sunrise Beyond's collaboration project, AMM Warrior at the Borderline, on Thursday. The anime's second part will premiere on April 11th. The anime first part premiered on the TV Tokyo channel on October of last year. The first part had 13 episodes. NHK revealed on Wednesday that the third season of the TV anime of Welcome to Demon School Iramakun Manga will premiere in October on NHK Educational. NHK also unveiled a new teaser visual for the third season. The second season premiered in April 2021. 
Crunchyroll streamed the series and debuted an English dub in June of 2021. The third season will center on Irama competing with his classmates to gather ingredients in a demonic jungle to prepare for the upcoming Harvest Festival. The official website for the TV anime of A Couple of Cuckoos Manga began streaming the second main promo video for the anime on Thursday. The video reveals the, and previews the anime's ending theme song, Square Destiny, and also reveals the anime's April 23rd premiere date. Well, that's all for today. Thank you everyone for an amazing year. I mean, I didn't expect that we would get this kind of reach. I mean, I've been super happy. I'm hoping that this year we can hit our 100 subscriber mark on this channel. So please continue to look forward for some more anime news for us from us. And we'll see you guys back here next Monday.